you guys, mowers and blowers here again. Today I'm over at my local Home Depot here in Comac, Long Island and checking out their lineup of uh, mowers for the spring coming up. So today here we've got this uh, Toro Time Cutter. It's nice. That is a uh, Chinese engine, I believe. V twin. Twenty five hundred bucks. Next, we have a Cub Cadet RZTL, and that is twenty two ninety nine. Look at that, huh? Three John Deere's. E160. E120. E100. Okay. Engine looks like a Briggs. It's shaped just like that. Briggs, 10 horsepower or something like that, but uh, has no badging on it whatsoever. It's 17.5 uh, horsepower, 500 cc. Again, it. Uh, doesn't show it's a Briggs, but it looks just like it, you know? It's the model. Oh, it is Briggs, see? The Briggs and Stratton, just like I said. Yeah, okay, cool. It's got headlights. It's a 42 inch deck and it's 1500. That's pretty cheap for a John Deere. Let's see the uh, 120, 1899. It's also 42 inch. Uh, the difference is this is three, ho three horsepower more and it's got the ready start. That's a hydrostatic transmission as well. So that's the difference in the $300. The E160 is wow. Okay, so that's 2300. Comes with the 24 horsepower.
market for uh, what's on the market now. Uh, just giving you a date. It's uh, almost March. It's the 27th of uh, March. Sorry. Got my days mixed up. So we have some Echo backpack ones here. 429 for that one. 329 for this one. Saving you guys all a trip to Home Depot. Check out the prices. Roby backpack thing. 200. I never tried the Ego, but they seem to be out there quite a bit. Pretty expensive, 259. You know, my thing with battery-operated items, I mean, the batteries don't last forever. You guys all know that, right? So eventually, you're gonna have to replace something in uh, three, four years. These are all lithium-ion batteries nowadays. Pretty powerful, but I don't know. Something about gas engines that just uh, make me feel better about it. You know? Echo 149. I don't know what this is. Oh, another Ryobi. 199, 119. Sorry, here's another gas uh, leaf blower here. Home light, only 99 bucks. That's cheap. Home light's pretty, uh, you know, it's like a weed eater. Ooh, look at this one. This home light here, 80 bucks, brand new. I've sold used ones for more than that. Egos. Ooh, a DeWalt. Cordless. Another Ryobi. And they got a lot of them. This is Milwaukee. They make good um, impact wrenches and tools. 150. Some more Ryobis. Ryobis a cheap version. Toro Electric plug-in. Corded, seventy-five dollars. Yeah, thirty-four bucks for a leaf blower. Thirty-four bucks. Corded, plug it in. Thirty-five bucks, man. That's cheap. Electric chainsaws. Weed whackers here. You need oil for the chain. 30 bucks for a 13 inch straight shaft home light string trimmer. 30 bucks. Plug it in. 29. You know, making these videos is not good for my business. People see how cheap these things are. I'll never buy uh, my stuff. <laughs> That's all right. Got to show people what uh, what's out there. So you can get them all, cordless, wireless, electric, gas, gas two cycle, gas four cycle. Good thing about two cycle uh, equipment, you never have to give it an oil change. Because two cycle is a gas oil mix, you never have to change the oil. But it makes a lot of smoke, and it's kind of a pain to mix too. Look at this one. Echo. Echo cordless. This is uh, 230. Look at all those echoes. Hedge trimmers. Wow, look at that. It's a weed whacker with a hedge trimmer attachment to it. It's a tree trimmer. That's cool. I could use that actually. But I'm not going to buy it. Anyway, so that's the rundown of uh, the latest uh, Home Depot items. They're stocked for the spring for sure. Stocked. A lot of good stuff. See you guys next time, Mowers and Blowers.